Hello, we are ready for chapter three in the year of the dog. Um, it is called Welcoming the New Year. After dinner, mom gave us our Hong Bao, special red envelopes, the color of a fully bloomed poinsettia with money in them. Mine had five dollars. That was a lot of money, but not enough to make me rich. Lissy got ten since she was older. Then mom got us ready for bed. Kiki had her own room and her own bed, but she never slept the whole night there. She always got up in the middle of the night and went to go sleep with mom and dad. Lissy and I shared a room. Our room was buttercup yellow with flowers dancing on the walls. The carpet was a bright blue, so I liked to pretend that it was the ocean and swim to the bunk bed. Lissy slept on the top bunk because she was older, and mom was afraid I would roll off in the middle of the night. But I didn't like sleeping on the bottom. What if the bed broke and Lissy came crashing through? Lissy would be okay because she'd be on top, but everything would crush me. Traditionally, Mom told us as she was helping Kiki put on her faded sky-colored pajamas, you're supposed to stay up as late as you can on Chinese New Year. The longer you stay awake, the longer your parents' lives will be. So I should try to keep you up all night, but tomorrow is school, so everyone goes to sleep. Aren't you worried, I asked? We should stay up so then you can have a long life. Yeah, Lissy said, let's stay up late. We don't have to go to school tomorrow. No school, Kiki ch chanted. No school. Silly's mom said, everyone is going to sleep early and everyone is going to school tomorrow. But after she left, I worried. What if I went to sleep too soon and gave mom and dad a short life? If I stayed up an extra minute, would they live an extra year or just an extra day? Don't go to bed yet. Let's stay up, I said to Lissy. Okay, Lissy said, but I could tell she was thinking more about staying up late than mom and dad's lives. We turned on our bed lights and Lissy took out her book. She was reading Mary Poppins. It was very different from the Disney movie we saw. In the book, Mary Poppins is really grumpy, but the characters have better adventures. They even see a circus in the stars. I wondered why they didn't put that in the movie, and Lissy said it was probably because it was too hard to make the animals glitter. I opened my book. It was called Bee for Betsy, and it was about an American girl going to school. I liked it very much, but I couldn't stop thinking about what Mom said about the year of the dog and how it was the year I should think about what I wanted to do when I grew up. Lissy, I asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'm going to be a doctor, Lissy said, like Dad and Grandpa. I don't know what I want to be, I said. You should be a doctor too, Lissy said. You can get rich by being a doctor. Can't you get rich by being something else, I asked. Movie stars are rich. You can't be a movie star, Lissy said. You have to be beautiful to be a movie star, and you're not pretty enough to be a movie star. I stuck my tongue out at her, but since she was in the top bunk, she didn't see. Besides, she continued, you have to have acting talent to be an actress. You better pick something you have some talent in. How do I know if I'm talented at something, I asked. I don't know, Lissy said carelessly. I could hear her turning the page of her book. Maybe if you won an award or something. But I've never won anything, I said. Well, maybe you'll win something later, Lissy said. I could tell she wasn't really paying attention to me. There's lots of time. That was true. I had a whole year to figure things out. I watched the stars light up like a string of Christmas lights while I thought about what the new year would bring. And when I heard Lissy snore, I turned off my lamp and went to sleep. The year of the dog was here. And that's the end of chapter three.